All right, let's go and take a look here at uh, the function y equals 5 to the x. And what we want to do is we want to find the derivative of that. So we want to find y prime. Now, this is similar to um, you know, y equals e to the x in the sense that we have some number. Remember, e is just a, con just a number, 2 point something, raised to the uh, exponent of x. So, but we have to deal with it slightly differently, and a lot of times I'll refer to this as other bases. And what I'm talking about, the 5 is the base, because e is kind of the general base we use, y equals e to the x or something like that. But in this case, we're using 5, you know, and we're going to generalize this so we could have any number as that base. So, what we are going to do, okay, um, before we start this, it um, is to find the, to take the natural log of both sides. And I know that that might seem a little strange up front here, but you'll see why we're doing that. So, natural log of 5 to the x. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because that exponent, that x in the exponent is our issue right here. We don't know how to deal with that. But we have a natural log rule that says if we have something that's like natural log of a to the b, that's the same thing as b times natural log of a. Okay? So, um, in this case, you know, I have like the 5 is like the a and the x is like the b. So I can take that x and bring it out in front here and have natural log of y is equal to x times natural log of 5. So now I have that x out of the exponent. Okay? And now I can go ahead and I can uh, find my derivative. Now, I'm going to have to use implicit differentiation here, and the reason for that is because um, I don't have it solved for y in terms of x. But I can go ahead. The derivative of natural log of y is just 1 over y. And implicit diff says if I take the derivative of y, I need to multiply times dy over dx. Okay? Equals. Now, this always tricks people out a little bit, but we have x times ln of 5. Well, think, ln of 5 here is just a constant, and it happens in this case to be on the right-hand side of it, but think of any constants you have times x. If it was like 3x, the derivative would be 3. If it was 10x, the derivative would be 10. So in this case, you know, you can move the ln 5 to the other side. ln 5 times x, the derivative is just ln 5. So this is natural log of 5 right here. So now I'm going to go ahead, and uh, my goal is to find the derivative of y, which is dy over dx. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to multiply um, y by both sides to cancel this out. And I'll get natural log of 5 times y. But in my original function up here, I had something y equals something in terms of x. So I don't want to leave a y in my answer there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make it a natural log of 5 times, and I notice here y is just equal to 5 to the x. So I'm going to substitute in 5 to the x for y. So that's my derivative. Okay, so the derivative of y equals 5 to the x is natural log of 5 times 5 to the x. Now I'd like to generalize this. Okay, so <clears throat> you know, if I just had anything like y equals, let's call it a to the x, where a could be any number, it could be 10, it could be 100, it could be you know, 7, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, what would the general, um, you know, kind of rule for the derivative here be here? And if I were to place, you know, a with uh, 5 and go through this whole thing, I would just end up at the end with natural log of a times a to the x. So the derivative in general is just natural log of a times a to the x. That's the general rule um, for this derivative of other bases, okay? Now, um, it does change slightly if I have something other than just x in the exponent there. So let's look if I have something like this, like y equals like 7 to the x squared, say for instance, okay? Now, I can look and I can still apply things here because I have a 7 is in the spot where a is and x squared is in the spot where x is. So initially, everything's going to be the same. If I want to find the derivative of this, it's just going to be natural log of 7 times, you know, a is 7, the x in this case is x squared. The only difference is this x squared here is what we're calling an inner function, and it's, diff it's, it's something other than just x, so we have to apply the chain rule here, um, which means we have to multiply times the derivative of the inner function, which is 2x at the end. Okay? The reason why we don't have to multiply it by, by anything here is because the derivative of the inner function is just 1, so you, you don't have to put times 1. So, yeah, that's the basic idea with this. I mean, really, it just comes down to, you know, unless you want to work it out like I did that previous example um, every time, coming down to just memorizing this and then, you know, applying it isn't that difficult.